everybody and welcome back to the Madison C. Iowa channel. Today I want to talk to you about a couple of things that might help. It's a well-known fact that the fuller your freezer is, the less it has to work on keeping it cold. So that is a money saver for you. When your freezer starts getting low, I like to put in pop bottles that are mm, mostly filled with water. It's not all the way because you know it's going to expand and I don't want it to bust all over. And I add the 2 liter size as well as this depending on how much room I have in my freezer. And that saves on the electric bill. Now here's the bonus. If you have a bunch of these pop bottles in a freezer that is, you know, only partial, partially full, this is going to help save your food a little bit longer in a power outage than if you didn't have them in there at all. So I use these both in my chest freezer and the freezer above my refrigerator. Now my chest freezer is not an automatically defrosting freezer. I chose to get one that I have to defrost because that keeps food better longer. And I really don't have a problem with it frosting up because I usually keep it extremely full either with food or with these water bottles. And here is another bonus. If you have these in your freezer when your freezer is low, you have another source of available water to drink in the event of an emergency. And that's really nice. You know, there's been times when I've had like eight of these two liters in my freezer and a bunch of these smaller ones. And it's nice to know that I have a source of clean water in the event of an emergency above and beyond what I've canned for myself. One thing, if you use these in a freezer that defrosts, um, the water will taste strange in a freezer if it's left too long. So what I do for the freezer above my refrigerator is when I start putting stuff in there and it fills up and I take these out, I just let them thaw, water my garden with it and then I let them sit upside down uh, to dry until I need them again and fill them up with fresh water. That way I don't ever have to worry about it. These that I use in my deep freeze, I change out when I think about it. Again, you know, I water my garden with it, or my herb garden because it's right by the door. and. So it's usually about, oh, maybe twice a year, because the water, I tasted it. The water still stays good. All you have to do is wash these out with soap and water and fill them almost all the way up, and you're good to go. So that's my uh, tip that I thought I would share with you. These little babies kill three birds with one stone. It saves on your electric bill. It keeps your food frozen longer in the event of a power outage. And you have a backup water source for you and your pets and your children. So take care, everybody. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.